At the top of the show, we took you live as former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley announced her intentions to run for president in 2024. Now we want to take you back out to Charleston, where she just got off the stage. Joining us live now is WMBF News reporter Julia Richardson. Julia, Haley came in with a lot of energy and the crowd matched it. Yeah, that's right, Erica. Um, I've been here since about 9, uh, 7.30 this morning, actually, and the crowd uh, was let in around 9.30, but everyone that we talked to was just so excited. We talked to several people from across the country that were made the trek here because they just believe in Nikki Haley's ability that much, and also they want, I mean, I heard a lot of people say that they want a woman in the White House, and they think that she's going to be the one to do it. Now, some of the points that she, she hit on she came in and said it's a great day in South Carolina, but she also hit on border patrol, immigration, all of, all of the things that she was emphasizing um, during her governorship of South, in South Carolina. And she constantly said that she's not afraid to break the status quo because she did it when she was governor here, and she said she'll do it if she gets to the White House. A lot of people, as you can see behind me, are still here, um, still, you know, active supporters cheering. Um, and she she was super excited. Uh, she said that she um, loves everyone here. She loves America, and uh, it's because of her love for this country that she's running um, to be president of the United States. She also mentioned that her parents are immigrants, and uh, the country that she sees today does not reflect the country that she wants to see, and that's why she's running. 